Hi, and welcome to our online crop. So, what I want to get down to work on, because this is like the fifth time I've tried to film this. Have you ever had those moments when you just can't get the filming right? This is um, the mini album made from envelopes I want to show you, but these are made from envelopes that you're going to make instead of buying them at the store. This measures six by six, has a cute little uh, spine on it that looks like, you know, an actual book, but it's not. You can use coordinating cardstock, or I just used um, the craft cardstock by Cartabella. So when you open it, I will have this embellished. Um, you won't be able to embellish the insides a lot. You can definitely do your pictures because, of, as you can see, there's just not expansion room. So when you open it, this is actually a pocket unless you glue it shut like I did. So here we have um, the photo mat that I also made with my envelope punch board. And I'll show you how that's done. And then, of course, we have the pocket. This I left, and I'll probably just put a picture here because I really love the flowers in the bottom. And then we have another photo mat and another pullout mat. And then there is still room inside. I can, I can put other pictures and things that I just want to keep. And I have another photo mat, then the back page, and then the the inside of the back page, and then the back page. This makes a fun little quick gift. Maybe you just need something for a housewarming or for a friend's baby, and you want to add it to the gift that you've purchased. Really fun. Now I'm going to show you something else with this. Once we get it made, if you're wanting to make your envelope mini album so that you can attach it to hinges, the stack the stack the deck, or maybe you're using um, oh, the stack. What's the other one called? The hidden hinge. Sorry. Then you will be able to. Now you can make this in sets of two and three, and then if you're doing it in the fours, you'll have uh, four pages on one hinge, and then you can put four pages on another hinge, and you basically you have eight pages, a 16-page mini album made from your envelopes. I want to show you some. This is one that actually didn't turn out, so we're not using this. But I want to show you when you do min, when you do envelopes. I don't know about you, but mine always rip here. That's where we put the um, in the flap inside, and also you're trying to put it inside, and you're fighting with it, and it's just it, there are a lot of work if you're just going to make it from the envelopes. So what you're going to need is your envelope punch board. If you do not have an um, envelope punch board, you can use your um, little tool that comes with your scoreboard. Personally, I don't use that. I'm not really familiar with it, so I can't um, tell you how to use that. So what we're going to do is I want to do the six by six. And for the six by six right here, it tells me that that's for my card size, but we're going to use these as our mini album sizes. So as you can see, you can make your mini album any size you want. You need to cut four sheets of nine and a half by nine and a half paper. So we need four of them. I've got uh, my four cut and I have just one left that I'm going to punch with you. So on your, your, your board, it will give you your card size, your paper size, and then your score line. So for the six by six, we need to put it on the score line of four and three fourths. You will punch. Um, there is a tool if you haven't lost yours, like I've lost mine. Then you take your tool because you also have a scoring line over here. Line it up just along this edge, and you're going to go ahead and make your score line. Turn it again to your four and three quarters, punch, and score. And we're going to turn it one more time. Actually, we'll do this four times because we want a nice square envelope. Okay, so we're done with our punch board for this part. Get my garbage out. Now I turn it over because you can see the, the score lines. There's the indent and then where it's raised on the back. So I turn it over and I fold against the raised part. And just go ahead 
and fold. Now, another thing that's really nice is I'm using an 80 pound cardstock by Cartabella. Absolutely love it. As you notice, when you fold it, nice, smooth, no um, cracking, peeling, none of that. So here's our envelope. Excuse me, I just need to take a quick drink. We have four of these envelopes. So you should have them all put together. Now you're going to take your first one. Decide on your adhesive. It's totally up to you what you want what you want to use. Wet glue. So you can use your wet glue. You can use your score tape. If you're comfortable with it, you can use your glue gun. I'm going to use my glue gun. You do have to work fast though when using a glue gun. So what you want to do is go ahead and fold your left flap down, bottom up, top down. And if they're not quite flat, go ahead and score them some more. Then this flap on your right hand side, we're going to just fold it to the back. I'm going to open my flaps. Make sure I crease it nice. Now this is one paper I'm not afraid to use the edge because I know it's not going to tear or break. Now you want to go ahead and, and fold that down up and up. Grab another one of your envelopes, and you're just going to insert it. Right now, we're just laying this out, so it should look like that. Okay, fold her over. Now, what you want to do is turn it over to the other side. Oops, sorry. Let me just get things a little more straight. No, actually, let's leave this down to the bottom. And you want to leave this nice solid area up. So you're going to take another one, fold the right hand side down. Now you're going to take this one and you will insert it right into that, op that uh, opening back there. Fold it over, straighten things up. Now, I was doing it upside down, so I've turned it so now this flap is there. It doesn't matter which way, just so you did insert it into there. Now, with the Sambolo flap on your right, on your left hand side, make sure it stays underneath. We're going to take another one of our envelopes with this flap and this way. There we go. You want this out to the right hand side. Then we're going to turn it this way so that it's solid there and we're going to insert this once again. Turn it over and there we have the start of our book. So you'll have, when you open your page, you're going to have all your flaps. You'll have a solid. And then this one, you should have this little triangle design. Let's turn the page. Now this is where um, it starts to get tricky because that will need to eventually go down. And then we're going to fold that over. So let's take a look again. So we're opening it up. And you have flap to your left, two flaps up here. Then you have this piece. Okay, we have this piece that looks like the triangle. So this is your middle of your book. Now when you fold it over again, you should have a solid. And then you have... Um, all four of your flaps here, and when you close it, then you have the very back will be this spine piece. Now we're going to get down to it, hearing it. Now you want to open your book, and we're going to start with this right here. Like I said, if you're comfortable with your glue gun, 
you can use that, but you have to work fast. Okay, we need to adhere that down. Then you're going to bring the bottom up, and then this top piece, you want to put a piece of score tape, wet glue, or your hot glue, and adhere it down. Because this is what's going to make your pocket. And I really do like the hot glue because I can just clean it off. It doesn't leave a wet mess smeared. And then we're going to open the page. Open these flaps. Oh, okay. When you open these flaps, let me show you something. Over here, you're going to have one, two, three flaps that we're going to have to stick down. But let's go ahead and let's get this one somewhat out of our way so that one can go down. But do not do these yet. Now, you've got these in the middle. So let's pull these up and we're going to actually bring them down over this way. So let's bring up one, bring up two, We have our third. Now we want to make sure our book, because when you pull it apart, you see it comes apart like that. Let's make sure everything is lining up. Okay. I'm going to get more in camera. Ignore what I just said to you. We're going to have three flaps here. We're going to go to the right, sorry. We're going to go to the right again, to the right again. So we're going to start with this one that is right here on the left. With whatever adhesive you've chosen. Okay, now we're going to bring the second one over and the whole idea is to line it up with the one that's already down. So after you've pretty much gotten it to where you're comfortable and you want it, try and just hold it down and put on your adhesive. And then let's bring them together. It's the only thing with the glue. You do get little boogers. And that isn't even going to matter because this is going to be a pocket. Now we have this one. And again, we want to make sure it's adhered down. So I'm going to go ahead and put my adhesive on the flap that's already down. Fold that over. Now I'm going to fold this one up, this one down. This will make my pocket. Now we're going to take this fold it over bring our bottom up, adhesive just to the tip of our top piece and down. So now we have a pocket here and a pocket here. Then when we close our book over, we have our last page and you should already have a piece down right here. So we're just going to add our adhesive to our flap. Now isn't this a lot nicer too? You don't have to sit there trying to stick the flaps into each other. And that is usually where I tear my envelope or I throw such a bit, I'm done. I'm not going to finish this. And there we have our pocket that will be at the back. And then we have the back of our book. Now once we get it down, I like to go ahead with my 
bone folder. And you might have to just do a little realigning a little bit. Okay, and when you open your book, we'll have a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. And then you'll have a pocket on the last of the pages. Now, what's beautiful about this is your six by six papers are going to fit perfect onto this book. Now, when you're working with them, one thing you're going to notice is you are going to have a little bit right here. Um, there's not much you can do, and it was on this one too. But see, as the papers um, somewhat stick out, it it lines up and it looks just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and actually I am using the new mini line that is our 4th of July by Cartabella. And I've chosen to make my cover kind of plain because I'm going to be adding on, sorry, I'm going to be adding the stickers. I'm just going to straighten this up a little bit more. There, mine looked just way off at the bottom. Okay, so for this, I am going to use my Distress Ink. I'm going to try and remember to stay in camera. So I'm using the Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And I cut my papers. Now, this didn't come in a 6x6 six six paper pad. So I took my 12x12 12 12 sheets, cut them 6x6. Six six, and here's the great thing you cut them down to six by six, you can get, oh my goodness, one, two, three, almost three albums out of, three or four of these small albums out of this mini pack. Now the mini pack of the Cartabella, whoops, it doesn't come, it's, like I said, it's mini, so it comes with, I can't get a hold of it, comes with the sticker sheet. And then it comes with two of each of these. So here's the whole paper. So you get two of the stars and stripes, two of this one, two of this one, two of two. So it's just, it's called their mini theme collection packs. And I did get this one in with the 4th of July coming. And I thought how fun would this be so that we could display uh, the pictures at the parade or maybe when we went to the park of the grandkids. I don't want a whole album of the 4th of July, basically. So I can take this, whoops, and we can just um, add those important parade pictures. So let's go ahead and put this down. Now I'm going to do the back cover, of course, last, and I'll do my tie if you choose to do a, a tie. Now here's where you want to make sure... Fact that that one is going to be my back cover, so I'm going to set it aside. What I've done is when I cut it, I chose to do the blue and white stars, and I actually this cut apart sheet, but I loved it, so I'm going to leave it as is, and then more of the stars, and then the stripes. You can go either way, and again, so every other one is this paper, and then my last page will be this one. So let's um, let me just grab one more uh, roll of store tape. And I apologize, I should have had this out. So when we get down to the bottom. So I am going to go ahead with my Tim Holtz vintage and just go over the edges. Put my score tape down. And another thing, I want you to see how easy score tape is to use. Um, I've had some... Ladies tell me that they've had trouble tearing it, and I'm not sure if they were using score tape or trying to tear their red line because score tape actually tears beautifully. Okay, and remember we have this. Okay, I almost did it again. This is what I was telling you. I made the mistake before. Um, and this is also the way we get score tape off when we put it where we don't want it. It will take a little bit of the design off, but nothing major. It's just taking the color because you need that open if you want a pocket. So you only want to put adhesive bottom, bottom, and one edge. And then you put it down. A 
line it up and you have your pocket. Okay, so now my next one. And where that is cut off just a little bit, well, that's probably where I'll put my photo mat and make it come down long ways so it won't even look like it had been cut off. This album, from start to finish, we are going to mat it. I'm not going to, of course, do any of the decorating. You can have this album done with decorations in less than two hours. So if you need something fast and you're in a hurry to get a gift, well, here you go. Okay. And then we'll do this again, and I'll remember not to do that third side. Love score tape. I don't have to mess with glue. I don't have to mess with the mess, and it dries so quickly. And I know that it's not going to ooze into this open area because we want to make sure we keep that as a pocket. And if you happen to goof and do it and you don't want to take the tape off, you know, that's okay too. That's what I did on my album that I showed you that's all matted. I accidentally glued it down and I decided to leave it because it's fine. See how quickly this is going to come together. And then we're going to go with the next one. And you don't, you know, that's how quick you can use your distress. You don't have to be perfect with it. And this paper is double sided, so it does give you a, that extra designs to work with. trying to stay here in camera and because I'm trying to stay in camera and not thinking I did it again so let's just take that score tape off I bet you didn't know you could get that score tape off did you a lot of uh, crafters don't and so they just fret over it but it comes right off if you just roll it lightly with your finger okay so our next one see exactly where I'm putting the score tape. Now this one is not going to be a pocket on this side, so I, I do want to do all four sides. And as you can see, score tape is just as easy. I'll move the rollover to use as is your um, ATG gun. But I think it's easier. You don't have any mechanics to deal with. Now for our next one, this is actually the inside of the back page. And actually I'm going to point the camera over a little bit. That will help me be in frame more. Okay, I take my score tape and I just unroll. So I have, see I have quite a, a bit here. Don't have to worry about it sticking back to each other. Just put it down. Roll it back on. And it's quick. It adheres fast. I mean, you don't ever have to, it's not going to come up. You don't have to worry about having it on crooked because you can see exactly where it is due to the paper. Okay, now for the back, if you are going to put the tie ribbon, and I will have cutouts and decorations there, um, go ahead and grab your ribbon. And I think that I will use, 
Sorry, I should have had my ribbon out and I didn't. This cream color. What I'm going to do, if you're using um, tape, go ahead and put some of your tape here, or whoops, you can put some glue if you're using a glue gun. Enough to hold that down. And then decide you want it to tie here. Um, that's really, you know, no big deal. Now let's get our back page. Make sure both sides are, are somewhat tight. Just run my ink over it, kind of cover up those white edges. And as long as you leave your score tape just laying on your mat, it will turn with you somewhat. Now for the back piece, because I want it to hold that ribbon down, I am going to put a line right across the back. Now let's bring our over, kind of hold that down so that it's Oh, we've got to do something else really quick. Go ahead and let that go. Whoops, almost forgot to put the binding on. And my paper just got stuck down too. My mat. So we need to cut a piece, and you should have plenty of pieces left over from when you cut your 12 by 12 papers into um, the nine and a half by nine and a half. Now I, I go ahead and I remeasure. I want to make sure. I just want it to be a hair over six. And I'm going to cut cut it down to, like I said, probably six and one sixteen is small. And it's at two and a half, so I'm fine. And for this, you do need your scoreboard. So we're going to score it at three fourths. One. Then we're going to score it at one and a half. And one and a fourth. Now what you want to do is you want to just hand fold those little marks there. Just kind of accordion fold them. No set way to begin with. Now what we want to do, fold that side over. Fold that side over. Okay, turn it on over. Now this is kind of where you just have to work your paper and make it do what you want it to do. Okay, you're going to fold it down like that. We're going to bring this one over so it looks like this. Okay, then we're going to take our bone folder some good creases there for this go ahead and use your wet adhesive I'm going to use score tape I'm going to put a piece of one quarter inch score tape right at that edge and I'm going to put a piece at that edge so just close to each edge Now, you want to actually do this before you put your 
your top cover on because you you want it to be underneath your paper but because I didn't it just means that I have another decorating opportunity I'm going to have to put some ribbon or something along that edge which is just fine so go ahead and if you're using score tape let's go ahead and remove our papers I'll get my little Cricut tool here kind of out of fingernails lately since we've been gardening okay now you want to take the back of your book you'll know because there's that opening you're going to just set this remember you've got um, an edge here so you want to line that edge up right there with your book and then when you turn it over move my ribbon you want to line up that edge with the edge of your book Yeah, this is the part that, because you want to still leave that, that band there. There we go. Bone folder. Press her down a little bit. There we go. So now we have our little spine. Now see how it shows right there? But that's okay. What I'll do is I'll just take probably a strip of, of the paper now and I'll add that and probably do a scallop edge. So see, just another decorating opportunity. But on the back now, we'll move our ribbon over. And I just kind of, I just like to tuck mine. I don't know why. And now I can take my... This ribbon's just a little stiffer than a lot of them. So I'm going to take my tape off. And then tear that down. So you've got your little your border. Now you've got your ribbon tie that will come around the front. And then you can decide exactly where you want to tie this. And there you have your envelope mini book that you've made. And again, you do have that space that you can use it for um, a binding. You have your pockets. And then you can do your photo mats, um, make your inserts. But remember, the inside, you don't want to get too thick. Now, the outside, I will be decorating this one. And the reason I wanted it plain, I wanted to have more of a canvas because I'll be using these these stickers and I'll be putting them on to the cardstock to make them a little bit heavier and then I can decorate. So I hope you liked this cute little mini. As you can see, they're quick to make. You can make them in many different styles. You can make it uh, so your ribbons tie up and over or across like I've done because I wanted it to close at the front. And what a wonderful gift. Hope you liked uh, the envelope mini and how to use your punch board. And I'll be back with another fun tutorial.